Before you decide to start posting YouTube shorts on your channel, you need to be aware of the negative side effects. Lately, I've noticed hundreds of YouTube videos popping up about the upside of creating YouTube Shorts, but none of them are warning you about the potential risks. The truth is, YouTube Shorts can completely ruin your channel if you're not aware of what I'll be sharing with you today. And the reason I know this is because this actually happened to me. One of my YouTube channels almost got ruined by buying into the YouTube Shorts hype. And I searched all over YouTube for the downsides of using YouTube Shorts but couldn't find anything. I wanna be clear though, I'm not saying that YouTube Shorts are a bad thing. When used correctly, they can be wildly profitable. But when used incorrectly, they can also totally self-sabotage your channel. First, you need to understand what happened to me. Last year, I started a YouTube channel about optimizing your health. Initially, my plan was to do long form content like any normal YouTube channel, but I kept on hearing about how YouTube Shorts was the future of content. After witnessing the rise of TikTok, I thought it would be a no brainer to start posting shorts on my channel as well. But boy, was I wrong. My plan was simple. I would post long form content a couple times a week and try to post a short every day. My thought process was that as long as I posted about the same topics on both long form and shorts, they would work together to help my channel exponentially grow. So I posted my first long video and got a whopping 19 views in the first week. My shorts, on the other hand, got a little bit more traction. One of the videos actually got a few thousand views, which was very encouraging. But I knew that ultimately, long form content would produce more AdSense revenue, so I really focused on that. And finally, I got my big break. One of my longer videos took off and got around 120,000 views. This meant that I was onto something, especially since my CPM was over $10. If I had been monetized, I would have made around $1,000 from that video. So obviously, I was really excited. Excited. During that same week, one of my YouTube shorts blew up and got over a million views with a few hundred subscribers. Knowing that the shorts monetization threshold was way easier to achieve than the long form requirements, I figured I should focus a majority of my time on making amazing YouTube shorts and then once I got monetized, I could flip the channel into becoming a long form content powerhouse. That way, I could be like every other big YouTuber and afford a house in the Hollywood Hills. So I started studying shorts that went viral and realized that it had captions, jump cuts, animations, background music, and sound effects, and began spending way more time editing the videos in hopes that it would all pay off. A couple more of my shorts went crazy viral and I got approved for monetization within just a couple of months. I was super excited because my plan was working flawlessly, but this is where things take a drastic turn. Once I got approved for monetization, I started refocusing on long form content. But no matter what I tried, I couldn't get more than a couple thousand views. I decided to take a step back to try to figure out what the issue was. My thumbnails were fine because my click through rate was above 10%, which is actually quite high. I was writing quality scripts with good hooks, and the music and the editing were better than any other channels in my niche. But that was when I discovered that one very important stat was absolutely destroying my channel. AVD, or average view duration. My average view duration was terrible. And when I say terrible, I mean like 20% of the video. Like I said, my hooks were good and I was putting genuine effort in like I do with all my online business ventures when I'm getting them off the ground. But that was when I realized what the issue was and it had nothing to do with my content. The problem was my audience. The subscribers that came from YouTube Shorts would only watch a few seconds of my long form content. Even when I tried to make my content more engaging with captions, jump cuts, editing, none of it worked. This was because the people who subscribed from Shorts had shorter attention spans and probably only subscribed for more Shorts content. If I'm totally honest with myself, a lot of them probably didn't even mean to subscribe or know what they'd expect if they did. When you're starting a new YouTube channel, the algorithm first shows your content to a small group of people to see how they respond. If a majority of those people watch your video all the way through and leave comments, then YouTube's algorithm notices and will push your video to a wider audience. But when you already have subscribers, YouTube shows your video videos to those people first, before deciding if they should be pushed on to a larger audience. If your own subscribers don't watch or only watch a small portion of your video, the YouTube algorithm assumes that your video sucks no matter how good it is. As a result, YouTube stops pushing the video onto a larger audience, leaving your video with a low view count like mine. 
So if you decide to start posting shorts and long form content, you're basically attracting two different audiences. One audience has a 30 second attention span and the other audience expects eight minute videos. The short subscribers will end up ruining your long form content because they're not interested. They're only gonna watch for a few seconds. After coming to this conclusion, it made me wonder why so many channels are promoting YouTube shorts so heavily without giving you any kind of warning or disclaimer about the potential risks. In fact, all the YouTube channels that are promoting YouTube shorts don't actually use shorts on their channel, proving my point that shorts are a bad call if your goal is to grow a long form content YouTube channel. Most of these channels create their videos for the same reason that 99% of YouTubers do, to grow and get views. They're fully aware that shorts would hurt their own channel, but they aren't willing to share that information with you. So that's why I decided to make this video. So you can learn from my own mistake and give you a fair warning about how YouTube shorts could potentially destroy your YouTube channel. But again, I also wanna be very clear. I'm not saying that YouTube shorts are bad and you should never post them. What I am saying is that you need to decide between a YouTube shorts channel or a long form content channel. Because if you try to do both, you'll likely end up with the same issue I found myself in. By the way, YouTube Shorts channels can be wildly profitable for the amount of time they take to run. In fact, I've personally made thousands of dollars from YouTube Shorts channels and definitely don't want to discourage anyone from starting one. Obviously, long-form content YouTube channels can be super profitable as well as we all know. The point I'm trying to drive home here is where people get into trouble is when they try to mix them together. So hopefully this video will help clarify how all this works. At the end of the day, there's a reason that the biggest YouTubers in the game for long form content, like MrBeast, don't really post YouTube shorts on their long form channel. And on the flip side, if you look at some of the most successful YouTube shorts channels, such as MD Motivator, there's a reason that he doesn't do long form content, or when he does, it doesn't end up performing very well. If you do have a YouTube Shorts channel, please post it below so I can check it out and aspiring creators can network. Let's use the comment section below to help each other grow. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to dig into my other videos about social media growth. Stay tuned for more and talk soon.